for the purposes of demonstrating how uh, one more of these tools works, which is the eraser tool, which does obviously what you think it does, I created a cheesy question. Uh, what type of computer this is? Please insert your own lesson idea here. The answer is a MacBook. What we can do to make this page more interactive for your students um, is to simply have an image, have your prompt, which should hopefully be a little bit more high level than a what type of computer is this type of question. Um, what we can actually do here is we can actually use the pen tool. And I'm just going to select the black um, cover up and I am going to make it a slightly thicker line. So let's say 73. So now what I can do is I can actually use the pen tool to cover up the answer. This is a really easy way to make um, something active boardy. Now there's more sly ways to make this a little bit um, more stylistic, but this is the most simple type. So you have your page. Um, you ask the students a question. You maybe have a discussion about it. You could make um, uh, a brainstorming list over here, and you could be like, um, what are our observations? Um, it's white. It's got a one button mouse and so on and so forth and so you can kind of see how this lesson would go you can actually take the eraser tool and then come up and have a student erase the answer so we just made this lesson a little bit more active board like and this is a kind of a natural uh, way to change your lesson to uh, make it more suitable for an active board. I'm just going to quickly go back here. Um, another easy way to do this is I'm just going to um, spice it up just a bit. Uh, for number one, why don't I actually change the background color so it's blue. What I can do is select this text and I'm going to make this white so that it stands out of the page a little bit. I'm just going to move over that picture. What I can actually do then is change the color of this black blob right here that I created just to cover it up. This is technically an annotation. You can move it separately. I'm just going to make the color of that using the fill tool blue and so now it blends into the page and it's kind of hidden. You know that it's there, or if you don't, uh, <laughs> you can make a little reminder for yourself. Uh, but then you could have, um, this could be something that you could easily just delete. So what type of computer is this? You actually reveal the answer. Uh, there's a little bit of a lag right now. It's a little bit slow. I apologize for that. Uh, you'll find these things happen and you'll work around them. And then you can reveal the answer as a MacBook. And all of your students will say something to the effect of, cool, because instead of just putting a black blob in front of it, you blended it in with the page, and now your answer is revealed. So this is a natural way, using three different tools or so, the pen tool, the eraser tool, um, and the fill tool, to kind of create an activity of sorts for your students.